Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to share with you 10 tips on how I keep my DIY arts and crafts supplies organized. So my very top first tip for you guys is to take an inventory of what you have. So for me, that means taking out all of the arts and crafts supplies that I have, putting them into a centralized location like the middle of my living room or the middle of my dining room table and beginning to just go through them. And so by going through them, I'll go ahead and share with you the second tip. And the second tip is, is to organize them into categories. Okay, you guys, so I have so many of you ask me how I store my craft supplies and I've really been trying to create a system that will work in my home for how I store my craft supplies because I do not have a craft room. And for those of you that have the luxury of having a craft room, Oh my goodness, that is so amazing. But since I do not have a craft room and I like to keep my supplies centralized since my living room and my dining room are my crafting YouTube studio areas. Okay, so I have everything organized by four different bins. These are just collapsible bins that I found on burlapfabric.com. I do have a $5 off coupon code. Okay, so here is what we have so far. We have all of my regular acrylics, my little Walmart acrylics, my chenille stems, some coffee filters for my coffee filter flowers, and then little canvases over here. And then for the next storage solution, we have the cake making supplies and I just have everything separated out again in bags and then I tied my little extra fabric pieces with some twine and I did my best to kind of organize my fabrics they're pretty full in that one so I need to do some fabric crafts <laughs> and then here is just my little this is where I've got all of my goodies stored. I repurposed a Kleenex box and then put my safety pins, glue, and all that good stuff in there. So, I love this because I can just shut it. Now I'm gonna share with you guys. Okay, you guys, so here is where I store all of my craft supplies. You can tell this closet, I've really been working on decluttering it. This is our coat closet, but I just have two totes for all of my Dollar Tree crafting supplies. Okay, so here are the two totes that I have. And so in this tote, I have two Dollar Tree picture frames. These actually need to go over on this tote but I just have a glass vase and then I have this wire heart form. I have another wreath form. I have a ton of deco mesh, so definitely look for a deco mesh DIY coming up. I have some of these flower garden planners. I love these. Florals, these are just like bits and pieces of florals stored in here. Um, styrofoam, you know, wire, different little like eggs and different things I would use, you know, more for detail work, I guess you would say. And then over here I have the springtime moss. And then I have more foam and then just some of these flower planters. If you guys can see those. Oh, okay. So that's what I have in here. Okay, and in this toe I have signs my beach stuff for when I want to do nautical decor. The second tip and the second tip is to organize them into categories. So for my arts and crafts supplies, I have categories of DIY Dollar Tree supplies. I have a category of just paints. I have um, a category of uh, florals. So just things that go along with the different categories, try to group those together. My third tip on how to organize your DIY arts and crafts supplies is to make it an event. 
So go ahead and put on some nice music, light a candle, get dressed if you want to. Sometimes I do this in my PJs um, with a cup of coffee and sometimes I go ahead and get dressed and ready for my day. Um, but make it a special time. Set aside that entire day or afternoon or maybe weekend or if you guys are like me, you need several days to get your crafting supplies organized and under control to find a great system for it. So this is actually a decluttering process that I'm going to work through in part of my summer series, but make it an event. Um, the other thing as part of making it an event is um, make sure that whatever room you're decluttering in is clean. So I like to go about and actually get my house ready for the day. Go ahead and tidy up that space before I begin to declutter the arts and crafts supplies. So if you're doing this on your kitchen table, clear off everything in your dining room. If you're doing this in your living room, go ahead and tidy up your living room. Um, that way as you're working, you don't have a ton of crazy clutter going on around you and you can just focus on decluttering your DIY arts and crafts supply. The fourth tip I have for you all is to pace yourself. I always go into a project with these big lofty wonderful dreams. I am going to declutter my space and it's going to be fabulous and it's going to look like Pinterest and all of these crazy ideas but really I really just need to kind of pace myself and really take time with the process um, as I go about decluttering things um, and sorting things out and getting ideas for what I want things to look like because with crafting supplies for me they change through the seasons so during Christmas I need a couple of extra totes or boxes to contain ornaments but during the summer I don't have quite as many large items um, to work with so I may need some smaller totes so definitely pace yourself and try to give yourself grace as you go through the process so my my fifth tip on how to get your DIY arts and crafts supplies under control is to shop your house. You would be amazed at how many boxes and storage containers that you already have. So to store all of my scissors and my paint brushes, I'm actually just repurposing this Glam makeup brush book. It came in this pale pink, which you all know that I love. And so I just cut the center pocket out and then I worked on fitting all of my scissors and my paint brushes and just all the little tiny craft supplies that I need to do my DIYs. And then I even put my Glam pink glue gun in there. It doesn't have a spot really that fits in there perfectly, but um, I just felt like this was a really fun way to repurpose and reuse a makeup brush book because really I just keep my makeup brushes out and this glam book was just kind of left in a cabinet and I thought why not let's go ahead and use it for something awesome and cute like my craft supply storage. And so with crafting supplies, because they're constantly changing, I really love to use things that I already have on hand. Find ways to repurpose and reuse storage containers that you already have, and um, you can even get creative and look in your kitchen. I love to use the bottoms of cereal boxes to kind of um, break up and categorize things, and, and so that is my fifth tip is shop your house. My sixth tip is to start a little blessing box or bag. So if you're a crafter and maybe you have another friend that loves to do arts and crafts or maybe you have a grandchild or one of your kiddos likes to do arts and crafts, you can start a little blessing box. And I know that people have blessed me with arts and crafts supplies and so I love the idea of passing things on because like a lot of times we get so many crafting supplies, especially in different categories, that we need to kind of take some of those and pass them on to someone that might enjoy them. And this can also apply to home decor. So if you guys have a lot of different home decor, maybe you have too many things you can start a little box to bless one of your friends. It's such a wonderful thing to bless someone else. It really can bring a light to somebody's day. Maybe somebody that can't craft anymore or who loves to decorate or just passing something else on that's made with love is such a great way to repurpose and reuse the crafts that you've already made. 
Number seven is to go ahead and make some list of some of the crafting projects that you may want to do. So as you've gone through and organized all of your crafting supplies, you're getting them ready, you're shopping your house, you're putting them into some different kind of containers, you can write down a quick little list of some different ideas that you might have. So maybe you want to make a wreath for the summer, maybe you want to make a garland for Christmas. So by making this list, it will help you keep in mind some different things that you may need to pick up or different things that you want to set aside for these projects. Again, that will just help begin to get your DIY arts and craft supplies more organized and under control. Okay, so now that we've begun to really get into our organization game and we're feeling strong, we've decluttered, we've blessed other people, my next tip is to go ahead and shop your Dollar Tree or shop some of your budget stores for your arts and crafts supplies. So now that you've done everything you can to organize things, find containers for things, you can do something cute and nice for yourself. So I love going to Michael's. They have really cute little photo storage boxes that are seasonal that come in really fun papers. And I think they're like five, you get five of them for $10. I also love Dollar Tree for crafting supply storage. And I think I'm gonna do a whole video for you guys on my top favorite Dollar Tree craft supply storage um, ideas because they really have a ton of options. You can really have fun with this and get creative and think outside the box. So that's going to go along with number 10 for my last tip is to do something aesthetically pleasing for your organization. As you guys can see with my craft storage, I used a white cabinet with a pink flip top lid. A little bit of paint can go a long way with creating really cute craft supply storage. You guys can also use a pegboard. You can make cute little banners. I cannot wait to share with you guys more DIY arts and craft supply storage ideas as I go along this journey. I'm definitely going to bring you guys along with me. So thank you all so much for joining me on this DIY arts and crafts organizing adventure. If you guys like this video and want to see more, comment and let me know. Definitely give this video a like and if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of my YouTube family. This is such an amazing journey. I am blessed by you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for popping on here, for watching my video, for commenting, sharing, liking. You guys Guys truly mean the world. Um, you're just making this super fun and I cannot wait to create more things to share with you all. I have to admit it was everything I could do to not plug in my glue gun today and just really get down to the business of organizing because to me crafting is a lot of fun and so I love to craft but I really have to push myself to organize but now that I have everything all tidy and organized and ready to roll I cannot wait to share more DIYs with you guys. I am so excited because now I love to craft. So Anyway, I will stop rambling and get on with your day. Thank you guys for being here. It's a true blessing and honor. I love you so much, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.